everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about the makeup revolution foundation sticks that have just been released well not just but yeah they were released i think on the 28th of february um so i ordered two different ones just to test the colors i ordered the f15 and the f16 so i'll swatch that for you in a minute but I actually can't find these in the Superdrug stores. Uh, I've been to three Superdrug stores and they don't have this. They only have it online. I don't know if I'm going to the wrong ones or, you know, um, I just can't see them. But if you do want to get these, just go online to get them and don't waste your time like I did. Go into the stores. So in total, there are 18 shades and I think about maybe like the last five or six shades are for darker skin tones um so i chose to get f16 and f15 just kind of based on the swatches that i've seen on their instagram page and, and uh, like other youtube videos okay so this is the f15 uh, and this is the f16 and as you can see they've got different undertones so the f16 has a more warm reddish undertone and the f15 has a more cool undertone um, when I looked at it on my skin, I I thought I was going to go for this one because I have a warm undertone and this one seemed a bit too dark for my skin. Okay, so we're going to get a little up close and personal now. Um, I'm not going to do any colour correcting because um, as you can see, um, I have hyperpigmentation uh, <laughs> around my mouth. I've got dark marks on the side of my cheeks. So I'm not going to colour correct so you can see the coverage of the foundations. I'm going to go for the um, F16 first and then we'll just see how that goes. Um, but first I'm going to put on my primer. Okay, so the primer I'm going to be using is a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And also for like reference, if you want to know uh, what other foundations I use, I'll leave um, my reference shades in the description box below, so check that out. So my primer is applied, applied, applied. So I'm just gonna start off with this. Ooh, that's a good match, isn't it? Can't even see. Okay, fine. In all honesty, like I, I don't use like um, stick foundations. I only use liquid ones. So if I'm applying this wrong. If it comes out looking a little bit rubbish, it's probably me. Um, but as you can see, I'm just gonna. I think that's pretty good coverage, you know. too much so the consistency is just really creamy I like I like the consistency of this okay so I quite like the foundation I feel like it is I say medium coverage but as you can see like it's like covered my like problem areas pretty well like I feel like it looks very smooth I do feel like I look a little bit red um, not gonna lie but I feel like once I have applied my highlighter and everything it would look okay so I'm gonna use the makeup revolution highlighters as well uh, so I use C13 to highlight my under eye, so I'm going to go ahead and do that.
so I don't know about you guys but I think this looks really good um, from my mirror I think everything has blended in seamlessly I would say I mean I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face um, and then I'll just show you the final result but I think everything's blended in really nicely and like I, I don't feel shiny like I haven't put any powder on and I, I don't look shiny which um, I do with some foundations I have to put powder on or else I'm gonna look really shiny I feel like I, I look very matte um, is this supposed to be matte? it doesn't actually say just this fast basic foundation okay um, yeah I really like it so far I'm gonna finish my face and come back and show you the final result okay guys so this is the final look and as of now I'm really liking the foundation you know obviously I haven't been wearing it long enough to determine whether I would repurchase this so I'm gonna wear this for a couple of hours and see how it goes I didn't say in the beginning but my skin is very 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 oily like very oily if there was a spectrum I'd be on the end of the spectrum when it comes to oily skin like no product seems to work like a hundred percent like the oil will always come through but um, right now I've been using the MAC blot powder just to um, get the excess oil off my face throughout 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 the day so this is the powder and I apply it to my face um, after I've put on my uh, MAC skin mineralized finish powder so that's what I do when I do my normal foundation routine so I've just applied this foundation like I would any other foundation and I'm just gonna see how that goes okay so to see the results after a couple of hours stay tuned okay guys so I'm back and it's been about six and a half hours um, since I been wearing the foundation um yeah I look a little greasy don't I but that could be because um it's night time now so I'm using my ring light um, so the light might be making me look a little bit more shiny than I actually am um, when I look in the mirror I don't feel like I look that shiny I feel like I look as shiny as I would if I were wearing my like Lancome or my, my Fenty foundation so it's really not that bad so in times of my greasy face um, I will literally just get my blotting powder and again I'll go in and just dab that a little just dab it a little like and like it's not that bad like I literally have to do this anyway so um me blotting my face uh is not really like a deciding factor for me once i've blotted my face again the foundation is it's fine like i like it and like the price it's five pounds guys it's five pounds like i'm gonna take a little bit of oil on the side for five pounds like my lancome one is like 30 36 pounds like i could save a whole 31 pounds if i just use uh the Re makeup revolution one and literally i cannot even tell the difference I can't tell the difference and one thing I actually really like about it is that it didn't settle into my frown lines um, I get frown lines, frown lines, smile lines um, I get them quite often um, and I haven't and I've been laughing I've been watching Netflix I've been laughing so <laughs> um, I should have them but I don't like I have them like they're really faint so which is good okay so if I was to do the pros and cons of these foundations I would say definitely one pro is the price. I mean, it is dirt cheap. Five pounds for a foundation that literally lives up to like my Lancome one is a steal. Um, so I'm definitely going to be buying this again. I would also say a pro is the shade range. Now, it's not the best shade range in the world. You know, it's not Rihanna 40 different shades kind of thing. But I feel like 18 shades for a, like a startup um, is pretty good. And I'm able to find my shade most of the time um, when some of these companies do their launch uh, my shade is nowhere to be found my shade is not even in the spectrum so it's not even like there's a, a light and a very dark there's just light 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 then like like one medium like I'm not on the spectrum so I really applaud makeup revolution for actually makeup revolution does it makeup revolution yeah for actually like including darker skinned women 
in their shade range and i think they're also going to be doing a second release um where they have uh, slightly more shades uh, also i like the consistency of the foundations um they they're like they're not like the concealer i wouldn't say they're creamy and i feel like they're oil based though I, i'm not sure if they are but they feel like a like a like a cream a cream base and it's nice it blends really really nicely um, I didn't struggle blending at all. Some foundations, like when you put it on, they dry really quickly and then blending is an issue. But with this one, I didn't really have that issue. It works really well with the concealers, which again is like £4, which is really cheap. Actually, I didn't actually look at the ingredients, you know, I'm just putting things on my face, left, right, center. Uh, yeah, I don't know what any of these ingredients mean, but it's, um, it's a good foundation. So whatever they put in it, keep putting in. Also, they have different undertones. So they have, like, as I showed you guys with the F15 and F16, there's cool and warm undertones. I think they have neutral ones as well. Always a bonus. Cons, I would say, um, I don't think there's a lot in here, but again, I guess it, it's uh, five pounds. So this is how much, um, yeah, that's how much is in the tube. Um, so I'll show you, I've, this one I used today, and I'll show you the F15, which I didn't use. See if there's actually a difference if it went down that much. Uh, didn't go down that much. I feel like there's not a lot in here, but I feel like it will last. So um, we'll see, we'll see. But apart from that, I don't have many cons, not at all. Uh, definitely gonna repurchase this. And yeah, I gave this foundation a thumbs up and hope you like the review. So if you have any questions, leave them in the description description box now. Leave them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you in my next video.